So in this problem, we are given a sequence and we are asked to find the uh, to study the convergence and diversions of the sequence. And what's the beauty of the sequence is that it's given in a recursive way. In other words, the first element is square root of two, two plus square root of two, two plus square root of two plus square root of two, etc. So basically, if you know your xn, okay, the n term. In order to get the xn plus 1, what you do, you take that number, you add, here it is, you add 2 to it, and then you take the square root. So basically, that's the recursive formula. Um, so if I introduce the function f of x equals square root of 2 plus x, I get that xn plus 1 is equal to f of xn. So now, uh, let us check first of all some uh, so some properties of this function f. So first of all, the graph is very easy. It's just the square root of x shifted to minus two to the left two units. So this is the graph. So we go back to minus two. At 0, we get square root of 2. So this is the square root of 2 plus x. OK, so now we see that the function is increasing. OK? And uh, if we take the first two elements, so the first two elements, we have square root of 2, so that's x1. And x2 is equal to f of x1 equals square root of 2 plus square root of 2. So we see easily that x1 is less than x2. So x1 is less than x2. So from there, because f is increasing, we get f of x1 less than f of x2, which means that x2 is less than x3. And you keep going, so you will find f of x2 less than f of x3, which means x3 less than x4. OK, sorry, this is equal to x4. And the, uh, you get x4, x4 less than x5, etc., etc. So it's, it's very easy to keep going, and you will prove that xn, in fact, is less than xn plus 1. So in other words, that my sequence xn is increasing. So this will tell me that this sequence xn is indeed increasing. So in terms of limit, we only have two options, OK? So either limit of xn goes to plus infinity, so the sequence explodes, or we have a limit. Limit of xn equals to L when n goes to infinity. So we have two options. Either it goes to plus infinity, or we do have a number. So how do we find out if it does not explode, it's enough to see if xn is less than a number. Huh? So if there exists a number, uh, if there exists a number m such that xn is less than m for all n, then it will never, it will never go to infinity. So limit of xn will exist and will be equal to L. So we will have a limit, in other words. Huh? So of course, uh, the, the beauty here is to find that number m. So here, by looking at the graph uh, and looking at the numbers, so let me show that, in fact, that number m is 3. Huh? So in fact, we have okay, m is equal to 3. So let's check it. Okay. So first of all, Clearly, we have square root of 2, x1 equals square root of 2, is less than 3. So what about x2? So we know that x2 is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 2, and that will be less than square root of 2 plus 3, and that's square root of 5, which is less than 3. Uh, some of you may, may say, why is he doing this? Because Obviously, I can compute square root of 2 plus square root of 2 and show that it's less than 
3 but my point is to show the recursive formula here so so here what happened is you keep going okay so uh, if I go to xn so for example so I keep going so I get to xn less than, than 3 and how do I get xn plus 1 that's the idea why I did this so this will be 2 plus xn so here this will be less than square root of 2 plus 3 which is again square root of 5 which is less than 3 so you see all of them okay the recursive formula will be satisfied and it will show us that all the xn's are indeed less than 3 for all n so this tells you what that the limit of xn exists so we do have limits but this is uh, this is a wonderful information except that it's weak at the same time it's beautiful it's positive and negative information positive we know that it converges but it's negative uh, because it doesn't tell us what the limit this is the weak spot of the for the monotone sequences when you know that the sequence is convergent uh, by the boundedness it doesn't tell you what the limit is so you have to go again and uh, work hard to find this. so here let's go back so what's the recursive formula the recursive formula so first of all uh, sorry before I, I, I go to the recursive formula what can you tell me about the limit we know that the limit will be less or equal than 3 because they're all less than 3 and since it is increasing it's gonna be uh, greater than the first one which is square root of 2 so we know that great so next we we know from the recursive formula that xn plus 1 is equal to 2 plus xn but the sequence xn plus 1 also has the same limit as the sequence xn so here, this here goes to L, this here goes to L, so basically we have L equals square root of 2 plus L, L squared should be equal to L plus 2, and this will tell me if I bring it back, L squared minus L minus 2 equals 0, therefore L is equal to either 2 or minus 1 since L is positive the limit is 2 